Will You Snail is a brand new puzzle platformer from YouTuber and indie game developer Jonas Tyroller. Jonas developed the game over a four year period and documented the entire experience on YouTube. I've watched a few of the videos and I think it's really cool to see how the development process changes and evolves over time and to take a look at the less shiny aspects of game development, like creating the privacy policy. Imagine if we got to watch like Shigeru Miyamoto talking about his original ideas for Zelda and Mario as he worked on the first games. That would have been very interesting. Now, am I comparing Jonas to Shigeru Miyamoto? Hmm, maybe. After receiving a review copy of the game, I intended on trying it out for a few hours and writing up a quick first impressions video, but I can no longer do that because I ended up enjoying the game so much that I couldn't put it down and ended up beating it. It's not really a first impressions anymore if I've beaten the game. We'll get into the specifics later, but even after beating it, I still literally missed about half the stuff in this game. Will You Snail sees you playing as, well, a little digital snail, going through this computer world, fighting against the forces of an evil AI known as Squid. So at first this seems like a snail game, but I guess technically it's also a squid game. <laughs> now the main hook of Will You Snail is that squid and its extremely powerful AI will actively predict your movements in real time and place death traps and attacks in the locations you're most likely to be. And man, on the higher difficulties, it is spot on, forcing you to really think differently about how you move. The game keeps it simple. Your only inputs are left, right, and jump, though you can also do a double jump. This instantly brought me back to the glory days of playing Flash games on Newgrounds. Another very unique aspect of this game is that Squid is constantly speaking to you throughout the levels. Squid will taunt you, laugh at your mistakes, make jokes, subtly give you clues on what to do, and if you're paying attention, even give you an idea as to what's really going on in this world. What's extra cool about this is that Jonas didn't want the game to ever feel repetitive, which is very ambitious for something like a platformer. To accomplish this, one of the things Jonas did was record over 1,000 unique lines of dialogue for Squid to say, and program it to never repeat those lines. Ah, uh, talking about pain and suffering always makes me want to party. Come on. This allows for a very human and organic experience that really does feel alive. They're not just easy throwaway lines either. Squid will react to very specific little things that you do, like making fun of you for dying in the same spot multiple times. There's also unique dialogue affected by things that you've done in the past and sometimes even in the future, but I won't get too into that. There are these little buttons you can find and press to replay dialogues between two characters known as Dalen or Dalen and Unicorn. Through these dialogues, the secret story of Will You Snail is revealed. I won't spoil anything, but the story deals with the evolution of AI, advanced simulations, and humanity's struggle with these things. Obviously, you can see similarities in stories like Terminator and really any sci-fi, but another thing this game and atmosphere reminded me of was a game I tried on Game Pass a while ago called Recompile. In it, you're also a little digital person sent into a computer to fight evil, along the way finding data logs to tell the story of the world. Unfortunately, I felt like there were a few things holding Recompile back from being an awesome 3D Metroidvania-style classic, but I do think it's still pretty fun for a few hours, and to be honest, I don't think I'll ever get another chance to talk about it. Anyway, I was definitely wrong about what I expected Will You Snail to be. I was concerned that the cheesy jokes from Squid would get old fast, and that the basic platforming mechanics would do the same. This is absolutely not the case. Jonas really found a ton of interesting ways to vary up the gameplay to keep you on your toes and excited to see what's next. My favorite type of level was probably these tower defense style ones and the shooter ones, with the DDR rhythm levels being a strong second. While I found the gameplay to be engaging and fun, it's also brutally difficult at times. I'll admit, sometimes I'm feeling the blood pumping and I really want to challenge myself with a super tough platformer, but I was feeling a bit more casual this time around and I opted to play the game on the easiest mode. Sorry, hardcore gamers, I won't let you down again. Also, all the difficulties are technically labeled easy, and I think that's pretty funny. There's a ton of goofy humor in this game, as well as a tremendous attention to detail. There's tons of customization in the settings, which is great, accessibility options, and the community around the game is super cool. Beating the game after three hours played, my completion rate was only 50%, so there's still a ton of replay value here. And while the collectibles are always fun and rewarding to find, I do have to say that my favorite aspect of the game was the story. Finding a new button to get another piece of the puzzle was always exciting. The way the story is carefully drip-fed to you in this way is very well done, and I was surprised to see how big and emotional things got in what seems to just be a cutesy little snail game. 
I think I'd recommend Will You Snail to any platforming fan, especially the ones who really love a great challenge, and anyone who wants to have a fun, chill experience in a cool, quirky digital snail world. The ending was also pretty clever, and reminded me a bit of Eternal Darkness and Metal Gear Solid, but again, no spoilers. Go play it for yourself, and subscribe to Jonas Tyroller on YouTube. Oh, and Hidden Machine, subscribe to us too. Yeah. <laughs>